Biologic connective tissues like the sclera of the human eye are made primarily of collagen, fibrils, proteoglycans, and fibroblasts. They're arranged in a hierarchy which affects their mechanical behavior. Because all biological tissues contain water as their main ingredient, they are what we call viscoelastic. Unlike pure elastic substances, a viscoelastic substance has an elastic component and a viscous component. But let's see what happens to a viscoelastic substance when stress load is applied. As an example, we will use a racquetball to simulate the viscoelastic properties that a young person's sclera would have. What essentially happens is viscoelasticity is the molecular rearrangement. When a stress is applied to a viscoelastic material, the molecules rearrange themselves and change position. The movement or rearrangement is called creep. Tissues can remain a relatively solid material even when parts of their chains are being rearranged in order to accompany stress. As this occurs, it creates a back stress. When the original stress is taken away, the accumulated back stress will cause the tissue to reform into its original form. So the material will creep, giving the prefix visco, and fully recover, which gives the suffix elasticity. Viscoelastic behavior allows the tissue to accommodate to stress, yet return to its original form. This is a very important mechanical feature for the body's performance to respond to stress without damaging the tissue and the whole science behind stretching. Many industrial materials utilize the principle of viscoelasticity for this shock absorbing component. For example, viscoelastic shoe treads and insoles are useful mechanical shocks tr transmitted to the bones and joints. The ratio of stiffness and elasticity creates a material that is viscoelastic, able to respond to stress and absorb stress transferred to the body and maintain its shape over time. When tissues like the sclera age, they become rigid and less viscoelastic, therefore becomes less able to produce the amount of stored energy to deform, creep, or to produce the recoil energy to reform plasticity. With this concept in mind, changing the biomechanical modulus of aging tissue may be able to create a more viscoelastic modulus in the tissue's ability to respond to stress and force.